A leap in technology with a boost from a Canadian company is promising to make transatlantic airline flights a little shorter, a little less expensive, and a little safer. A network of 66 satellites is allowing air traffic controllers to track planes with more accuracy than ever before. The official unveiling will be announced in Washington, D.C. tomorrow, but we have the exclusive details tonight. It may not look like it, but what's happening in this room, the Gander Newfoundland Air Traffic Control Centre, is a historic advance for aviation. RAF M1815 Delta 33. For the first time anywhere, these controllers know the exact location of all of the planes on these screens, even jets halfway across the Atlantic. You may be surprised by this, but international flights are often beyond the reach of ground radar stations. In those places, and that's about 70% of the world, the planes update their locations only every 10 to 15 minutes. And because of that lack of detail, flights are kept far apart in the sky, up to 160 kilometers. Ignition, liftoff of Falcon 9. All of that changed with a series of SpaceX rocket launches, including this one last January placing 66 satellites in low Earth orbit. Those satellites are powering a new navigation network called Arion, partly owned by Navcan, the company responsible for air traffic control in this country. With Arion, planes can automatically and continuously transmit their exact position, altitude, direction, speed, no matter where in the world they are. That stream of data is now being tested by controllers guiding planes across the North Atlantic. You can't underestimate how important this is and how this changes how we will approach safe and efficient flight, not only in Canada, in Canadian airspace, but around the world. Air traffic controllers can now reduce the separation between planes over the North Atlantic to just 25 kilometres. More efficient flight paths will save time and fuel. And it's not just people at NAVCAN, the part owner and early adopter, who are excited. It's my opinion that this is a, as big of a change in aircraft tracking as radar was decades ago. Howard Slutskin says beyond the benefits on routine flights, when things go wrong, precise tracking could be life or death. If there's an emergency, search and rescue teams are going to be able to get there and know exactly where they're going, where before they were guessing in many cases. Time is of the essence always in search and rescue. But even in tragedies like the Ethiopian Airlines crash where there were no survivors, it was Arion that provided detailed information on the Boeing MAX 8's flight path that was available even before the data and the flight recorders would have been recovered. But it is the routine flights that carry the greatest benefit for this new system. NAVCAN estimates airlines will save about $400 in fuel for each transatlantic flight. And you can multiply that by up to 1,500 flights a day. And speaking of money, Rosemary, NAVCAN invested a lot, $200 million in this system. So it and the other owners of Arion are hoping that air traffic controllers around the world buy in. So is the idea, Ian, that if, if planes are tracked continuously like this around the world, that they can't just disappear like MH370 did? Which is the question a lot of people ask about this. Now, here's the thing. For some reason, on MH370, somebody wanted that jet to escape detection, mm -hmm. right? No radio calls were made. Yep. The transponder, which communicates with ground radar, was turned <laughs> off. And so there is a device on passenger jets that sends the data to the Arion satellite. So in that very rare case, that once in a generation case that someone wants to disable that, presumably they could. Hmm. You're really smart about airplanes. I appreciate <laughs> that about you.